I've been playing Killer Clowns all weekend thanks to Phonic and Terravision games. And I will say one thing that's been really surprising is how in-depth the customization is. And I'm going to show that to you right now, including the trophies you can get and why it's actually important before you get into a lobby to actually customize your characters. But before we do that, welcome back, Deadites and Ghost Beaters. If you're new to the channel, I am Old Head Gaming. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell for all horror ASIM related videos. Now we're going to hop over to the game and I'll show you what it looks like. Now, one of the things when you get into the game you want to do first before you load into the lobbies, because at least at least this is how it's working in pre-launch, and it probably will work in this way at least through early access, is go into customization and change your setup. Now, you will get a trophy for adjusting both clowns and humans. I already have Debbie. We have the deluxe edition going on on the channel. I have Debbie, but as you level up, currently I'm level four, you'll unlock more player loadouts. You just click on the loadout, what type you want to run. And then you can adjust it from here. Now I'm running Debbie, so like she has doesn't get a whole lot of change. So we'll change to human. So right now I'm running Debbie. She's a special character just like Mike is. So like they won't have any customization to them. But if I change it, then I can start going back and adjusting how I want my character to look. So if I want my character to be a woman or a guy, Heads that you unlock, skin tones, eyes. You'll unlock voice lines, emotes through play. Outfit I want them to be rocking. Yeah, as you can see here, there's a lot to unlock as you play the game, whether it's special abilities or it's via like just simply leveling. Completing different adventures uh, and challenges will also lead to that. So like, say for example, I want to rock this sweatshirt. I need to get to the shirt and flannel combination. I need to level eight. I'm going to put Debbie back on for now. And when you get over to the clean clowns, you can do the exact same thing. Now, like I said, though, for both the clowns and for the humans, once you do their customization, you're going to get a trophy. So let me let me show you how it works. So let's switch to clown type. Say I want to play trapper or tank. You need to unlock certain levels like brawler needs to be level 50. So you got to level up your clowns to get it. There's your clown emotes. There's say I wanted to be a special character. There's the trophy that pops. As you can see, there's one for the clown side as well. Weapons, cotton candy gun, secondary weapon, mallet, or what tricks I have. Oh, I got hypnotic lore. Well, I can change it to balloon dog at level 12. Baby clown traps at level 28. Pizza boxes at level 50. There's a lot of different customization, a lot of different things you earn as you play the game. So you have different clownalities, different emotes. Now, because I'm on Frizzo, who's a special character, there's no additional. If I wanted to play Bibbo, who's also a special character, there's no customization. But if I wasn't on any of them, I can make it a male clown. I can make it a female clown. I have different heads I can work with, different hairs I can work with, eyes, eye shadow. Yeah, you need that eye shadow. Different outfits. And, and outfits will be broken down into collars as well as jumpsuits, as well as shoes. And there's more to unlock as you go along. Let's put on Frizzo. And then we'll be playing some matches. You'll find more about the customization as you unlock different things. The last thing you'll see is the challenges. And as you do the challenge, you unlock certain items. Some of them are just level 60. Some are actually doing things like, for example, Rowdy Ranger requires you to complete certain tasks. In this case, Spawn 10 lackeys was part of that challenge. As you complete that challenge, you'll unlock the Trapper Keeper with the reward. For those of you who even remember Trapper Keepers. And that's it. That's how customization works in Killer Clowns. It's a lot of grinding. We're going to find out more after launch on what's being added to the game. But there you go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And there you have it. That's customization in killer clowns now obviously there'll be a lot of stuff to unlock as you're playing the game and you can change your characters there's pre-orders 
The deluxe edition or specialty characters doesn't look like there's anything you're gonna be able to do with them other than play them as is. And as they add other stuff down the road, it might be the same situation. There's plenty of challenges, plenty of things to unlock, and a lot of fun to be had starting tomorrow in early access on June 4th globally in Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Now, I will be live later tonight with a live stream of Killer Clowns. So if you want to see the game live in gameplay, just hop back to the channel. As always, thank you for watching, and later, mates.